Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's John Devers with Kirkwood Lacrosse Club. Thanks for tuning into the video on scoreboard operator training. This is not scorekeeper training, that's a different video. Go back to the website and click that link, but this is scoreboard operator instructions. Now, what's nice to know is that there are written instructions. You don't need to read all of these right now, but just know that there's a laminated copy of these up here uh, for your game assignment. So. To get started, <clears throat> this is the uh, device that we'll be using controls the scoreboard out there. It gets started with a rocker switch on the back. So you just press that rocker switch and then you just simply work through this checklist. So the first thing that it's gonna ask is it's going to ask resume the game. And then on the instructions, we want no or clear. So that's right here. Select a code, we press yes or enter. It's already loaded with the code, which is 6601. Enter. Then radio settings, it's gonna put some channels in there. We just hit yes to accept, and there we are. So there's seven minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. What we need to do right now is just clear that out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is set the time, and we're gonna do that like this. Set main clock. Then we're going to type the time we want. I'm going to use an example of 12 minutes, which is a typical high school lacrosse period. So we're going to do one, two, zero, zero, zero. So there's 12 minutes and zero seconds on the clock. Then we just hit enter. And if you notice out on the clock, 10 minutes are set right there. So the next thing that we want to make sure of as we're running the clock is that the horn is set to run on auto. So we just press auto horn. This menu comes up, it says number one to turn it on, so we just press number one. And then this yellow button illuminates, that's how you know that the horn is going to go off at the end of this time. To start the clock, it's as simple as the green button. Start the countdown and it begins. As soon as you hear a whistle, you hit stop. Start another whistle, go. Hear another whistle, stop. What's really, really important about this is this is a job that requires absolute concentration because you don't want to be up here getting yelled at by folks uh, who are watching the game. So with that, it's not a good opportunity to hang out with friends and family. It does require quite a lot of concentration. You'll be connected to the sign lines with our walkie-talkie system. Turns on this way like any basic walkie-talkie does and uh, just push to talk over here on the side. So simple enough. If they need to make an adjustment, they'll let you know. And this walkie-talkie usually is right up here in the box for you to use like that. Now, when Kirkwood scores a goal, we're of course the home team. So you just wanna hit score plus one. That puts one up on the clock and you can see home one right here. Next is if the bad guys score a goal, you can just hit, click guest score one and so on and so on and so on. When the time runs out, you're gonna hear the horn, and then it's time to reset between periods. Usually that'll be two minutes and then a 10 minute halftime with 12 minute running clock play at the high school varsity level. In between quarters, what we wanna do is press this button, which is going to advance uh, the um, quarter. Let me find uh, where that is. So quarter plus one. So you just press that to advance. See right now we're on quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and of course quarter four in the game. That's really what there is to know about scoreboard operator. Let's move over real quick to PA announcer, the other job here in the score booth box. So of course, this is the microphone where we call out the goals and the assists. It's just a simple press to talk, red button, press and hold, like just like a walkie talkie, press and hold. Kirkwood goal scored by number 16, 22, whatever it happens to be, right? So to power on the system, it looks crazy and intimidating. Really, it's just two switches. This knob and this red button. Then you're live and ready to go. And then you're pressed to talk. Check, check, check one, check, two, one three. two, three. Good to go, echoing in the stadium. So that's everything there is to know about scoreboard operating and PA announcing. Thanks again for volunteering. We really appreciate it.